Sanibonani, everyone. My name is Lewohang Masango, and today I'll be reading Nanana Wosele Sele. It's a beautiful story about a mother who is caring and brave, like all mothers are, and a big, bad elephant called Sondonzima. Now let's read the story to find out more about them. Nanana Boselesele lives in the big city with her children. She is smart, caring, and brave. She built a house on a busy road one day. Everyone was puzzled, but she did not explain. She leaves for work, as she does each morning, while her children remain behind. They play with each other and have great fun. Everyone on the busy road passes them by. Who do these beautiful children belong to? Rabbit would like to know. We are the children of Nanana Boselesele, they say, the brave one who built a house on the road. Oh, Rabbit says, beware Sondonzima, the elephant. Excuse me, I must go. Who do these beautiful children belong to? Zebra would also like to know. We are the children of Nanana Boselesele, they say, the brave one who built a house on the road. Oh, Zebra says, beware Sondonzim, the elephant. Excuse me, I must go. Who do these beautiful children belong to? Finally, Lion would like to know. We are the children of Nanana Boselesele, they say. The brave one who built a house on the road. Oh, Lion says, beware Sondonzima, the elephant. Excuse me, I must go. Suddenly, the children feel the house shake as the big sound of footsteps makes the busy road rumble and quake. Who do these beautiful children belong to? Sondonzima, the big Bad elephant booms. We are the children of Nanana Boselesele, they say. The brave one who built a house on the road. Oh, the elephant says with a sly smile. Beware Sondonzim of the elephant. He grabs them with his trunk, opens his mouth wide, and swallows. Nanana Boselesele comes back from work. The house is quiet and her children are nowhere to be seen. She panics and looks for them everywhere asking, where can my beautiful children be? She stops for a moment to catch her breath. I have to calm down and think. Soon a plan comes together in her mind and she rushes to the cupboard beneath the sink. She pulls out a huge bag. She knows exactly what she must do. She throws in a big pot, some firewood, a sharp knife, some salt, and a box of matches too. Nanana Boselesele runs down the busy road. She stops the first neighbor she can find. Rabbit! Rabbit, where are my children? Please help me find them, she cries. Go down to the big mall where the elephants hang out. Rabbit nervously replies. Nanana Boselesele continues down the busy road. She stops the next neighbor she finds. Zebra! Zebra, where are my children? Please help me find them, she cries. Go down to the big mall where the elephants hang out. Zebra is nervous too. Nanana Boselesele stops the last neighbor she finds. Lion! Lion, where are my children? Please help me find them, she cries. Go down to the big mall where the elephants hang out, Lion nervously replies. Finally, she reaches the big mall and steps up to the biggest elephant she can find. Sondonzim! Sondonzim! Where are my children? He looks down at the woman and smiles. I wouldn't be asking such questions if I were you. Now, go away before I change my mind. Nanana Boselesele is angry now, so she asks the elephant 
one more time. Yay! Sondon Zima! Where are my children? He sneers at her and starts to stretch his mouth open wide. He grabs her with his trunk, takes one last look and throws her deep inside. Nanana holds on tightly to her bag as she slides deeper and deeper into the elephant's belly. She hits the bottom with a thud. All around her it's dark and smelly. She feels around for her box of matches. She strikes one to use for light. She looks around and starts to see her children and their neighbors with their faces full of light. Don't worry, I'm here now, she tells them. She opens her bag and pulls out her supplies. She makes a big fire under a pot and uses her knife to cut a big hole in Sondonzima's side. Soon, the smell of cooked meat floats about. The people eat until they are happy and full. Whenever any of them feel hungry, Nanana Boselesele cuts more meat and cooks another potful. Outside, Sondonzima feels really strange. Ouch! Ooh, he groans. This tummy ache is getting worse. He tries to ignore it, as if it's all okay. But the more he tries, the more it hurts. Eventually, Sondonzima falls to the floor with smoke billowing out of his trunk, mouth and ears. Nanana Bosele Sele cuts a doorway for everyone. One by one, they come out and everyone cheers because Nanana Bosele Sele saved the day. The end. Thank you everyone for listening to my story. These stories are very important and we need to take care of them because they're our stories, Zanzi stories.